So I just uh, finally got off of um, uh, the highway because I'm headed home from my doctor's appointment today. Um, those are pillows in the back. Um, because I stay at my friend's house and I bring my own pillows. Anyway, so this is really shaky. So I went to my doctor's appointment this morning. Um, I got there fairly early and was able to get into the appointment earlier, so all is well. But anyway, um, it wasn't exactly all that eventful, but the, the part I was worried about sort of happened, right? So I was worried that I wouldn't get uh, my scheduled appointment for the time I booked off, um, which would have been in March some, uh, sorry, two week, the first two weeks in March or something, right? My surgery isn't going to be during the time that I had prepared to have booked off for vacation and whatnot. So it's not going to be in March. It's actually April 5th. Uh, so a little bit over a month and a half away. Um, it's a little, it's frustrating. Uh, I got to figure out what to do for work and how I'm going to plan that for uh, days off and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to have to rebook sir, uh, vacation time or just take my vacation time as is and take unpaid vacation time off in April because I'm still going to need two weeks, if not more, uh, a little bit off work. So yeah, kind of stupid, kind of annoying. I'm not as emotionally drained as I thought I was going to be after hearing that. Um, just where I work, I work at a bank and I gotta be prepared to take different days off and uh, give lots of notice for things, so that's why it's a little frustrating. I find it frustrating. I don't like leaving my coworkers hanging, you know, um, and then leaving my boss without any information, so, yeah. Um, as for the appointment itself, I actually got to see my, the, the lead in my lower spine moved, right? So I actually got to see the difference between when uh, the x-ray was done on the day of surgery and then versus the x-ray I got uh, January. Uh, so I got to see that and I was a little bit surprised considering I thought it was, had moved a little bit less. Um, for some reason, uh, it actually moved, so it moved more than I thought, essentially. It moved a few millimeters, which to me, it could have been like even half a centimeter. Like it moved quite a bit. So that can change quite a bit of, that can change, I guess, everything. Because um, in his opinion, it, it he had so, he had put the implant in, adjusted the, the lead and the wires. And then he said when he sewed me back up and put the, everything together or whatever, <laughs> it uh, probably moved right after, like when they, move me back to the table, the bed or whatever. So, uh, that's a, that won't happen again. I'm hoping. So anyway, that's my update. Um, I just wanted to get that out there. I'm not as upset as I thought I was going to be. I think I'm just kind of processing it. I'm trying to take time during this drive home to see how exactly I feel. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. There's not much I can do about it. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping uh, this day, April 5th, comes soon. I think it's also partly because of the healthcare in Canada. I think that for part of it, yes, you get to have free healthcare and free doctor's appointments. Um, but you can't decide and pick and choose who you get to see most of the time. I was just under the impression it could have been during the March 14th, week of the March 14th. Um, and what he said was they were given a bunch of dates that they could play with for surgery days, but uh, some of them were taken back. And so that's why they said it was maybe going to be during that week, the week of March break, um, which doesn't matter to me because I'm not in school. I have a full-time job and whatever. So you don't get to pick and choose. You just got to roll with what you're given. So I'm given, I was given the 5th or the 19th of April, so I chose the earliest one, which is the 5th, obviously. It's freaking bright out today. I almost put on two pairs of sunglasses because I didn't realize I was wearing this prescription pair. But, yeah. Fun times, guys. Fun times. It's going to be a long two months. <laughs> so, anyways.
anyways I gotta figure out what's happening with my vacation and I'll tack that into the end of this video the funny thing about straightening my hair is that it just gets so oily so quickly what why <laughs> anyway um so back home as you can see um I wanted to just kind of do some form of update because there isn't really there's not really much else to say other than well nothing changed I mean I didn't get any answers for vacation time or I mean it's Friday night so it's not really going to be prime time to start figuring out schedules so all the way till next week um, Monday is for family day so this weekend I'm probably going to try and put up a more interesting fun video do you like my hand gestures involving arts and crafts maybe so who knows um, anyway, yeah, uh, didn't get anything else figured out, uh, still waiting on answers and stuff, but I was thinking about it more while I was driving home, and I was kind of like, maybe, I think on my way home, so I went through a range of emotions. First start off with being kind of disappointed, right, so my first video, my, my video on the ride home was more about being let down, I guess, um, and a little bit frustrated. Either way, I think on the, most of the ride home, I was kind of feeling more pos on the positive side, because... I was like, well, at least he got an appointment. And <laughs> that was kind of like a good feeling to think about it that way because I could have easily have waited longer than just April 5th. Uh, it could have been six months down the road. And I've heard, I'd even been sort of like chatting with some of the people in the waiting room from time to time, not today particularly, but in other instances where they waited essentially six months or so to get their even their first surgery so the fact that I'm getting two surgeries within seven months of each other is pretty outstanding so I was pretty happy when I thought about it that way and then so I went through that I was sort of disappointed and then it kind of got to the point where I was like more uh, positive about the whole thing and then I got to a point where I was kind of more depressed about the whole thing all over again I don't know but like sometimes just even seeing the dates in the calendar if it's just, maybe it's just me, but sometimes just even seeing the dates in the calendar um, or looking at any calendar of any sort can make me feel just so overwhelmed and so depressed because I just wanted it to be faster and I was really looking forward to the three weeks from now when I would be on vacation, if you will, and healing up again and going through all the steps and just like any anytime I look at the calendar, just like, well, crap, like it's another two, almost... I keep saying two months, it's not two months away, it's 47 days, but um, it just is overwhelming and I don't like thinking about it, so it just isn't as close as it used to be in my head, so anyway, that's pretty much it. This has been a journey making all this footage and stuff and recording it and having you guys respond to my videos is just amazing, so thank you very much for uh, showing some love in that sense, so anyways, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> can almost do some like emo hair, just like all in the front, you know? Yeah. Yeah, look at that greasy e emo oily hair. I can't get it in front of my eye. <laughs> it's like I just want to do that. <laughs> there we go. That's how they do it, right? That's how the cool kids do it. <laughs> yeah? No? Okay.